today. Bill's up here. How's everybody doing? Well, today on my video, I'm going to start out with saying sometimes things happen in the family that puts real stress on us, eh? Even though we're not the ones that have it happen to us here, but uh, other places, eh? And I just want you guys to know that everything will work out and everything happens for a reason, boys and girls, eh? But uh, just want you guys to know that I love you, hey? I love all of you down there. So, my heart's with you and everything is going to work out, hey? Come live in my basement anytime. Why wouldn't you? Hey? Why wouldn't you? You always got a place over your head. Don't worry about that, hey? That's what family's for. But anyways, I'm not getting too involved and I'm not getting in the comments. I'm not, you know, saying what happened and what this and that and the other thing. It's just something I have to put out because I know family watches a video and I want them to know that uh, I love you guys. Friggin' right I do. If it wasn't for you guys, it'd be no sense, eh? No sense. But anyways, going off after, after, we'll get that out of the way there. Because it's really bothering me, it is. Friggin' right it is. Still bothering me, but I'm gonna try here. I'm gonna try. So anyways, I got a couple things in today I did, eh? First of all, I got some tires, eh? I got some tires for the old Slash, eh? Got some tires for the old Slash I did. I'm gonna grab my phone so I can tell you where I got them from, okay? So I got these tires sent to me from uh, Walmart, hey? Walmart, W-O-M-A-R-T, eh? Off of the old eBay there. I, look them up on eBay, they got all sorts of tires they do in their, their, their cheap prices and stuff, eh? Tell them Bilsif sent you in the comments when you order. Why wouldn't you? See, Bilsif from the old YouTube sent you, hey? But uh, thanks, boys, they look like they're pretty decent tires for the price, they're pretty cheap, eh? But uh, they look pretty good, boys. Thanks for sending them, eh? But uh, I got myself some winter ones, hey, eh? with some Scoobies. Oh, yeah, boys. They're nice and soft, eh? Freaking right. Look at them, hey? Eh? Comes with the rims. They're definitely smaller, mm -mm, eh? They're definitely smaller than the factories, but these are for the winter, eh? So I'll just be able to blast. Oh, these must be that side. There you go. So I'll be able to blast. The hell out of this thing in the snow, I will. Now I should get some grip, boys. Hey? Oh, boys, they're not glued. I'm gonna have to glue them. Damn it. Anyways, yeah, look at that, eh? Freaking right. Be able to rip her off, boys. Hey? After I glue them. Why the hell wouldn't they come glued, for God's sakes? Now I gotta glue them. What the hell? I hate gluing tires on RC cars. I don't know if anybody else does, but I sure do. Hey? Anyways, yeah, I got four of them. Plus, I don't have any glue. God damn it. I need some glue, boys. Send me some glue. Why wouldn't you? Hey? Why wouldn't you? So anyways, yeah, I got four of them. Matching rims and tires, boys. So they should be pretty fun in the old snow, eh? We're in the sand, even. I don't know if I want to run them in the dirt or anything. They'd probably rip apart, so... We'll try them out and see what's what. So I got them, and I got some other ones. I got some... They're called... Crawlers, eh? But uh, I thought they were bigger. I should have looked at the factories. They're, I think they're 1.9 mil and the factories are 1.5 mil, eh? 1.5. I think they're um, 109 mil and the factory ones are 105, eh? Well, these ones are glued, boys, okay? Yeah, these ones are glued. The other ones aren't. What the heck's really going on? But look at them, eh? They're nice and skinny, they are. Freaking right, they even got a center cap. No freaking way, boys. That's freaking awesome. Oh, they're definitely skinnier. Oh, look at that. Hey, they got a center cap with Allen screws on them. That's friggin' awesome. So they're about the same size, maybe a tad taller, eh? But they're skinnier too. So they're really good for grabbing the old rocks they are. So if I want to take the RC, you know, up some little rough hills and stuff, I can do that now. But uh, she's not a rock crawler, so it might not work too good, but it's worth a shot, eh? So friggin' right. Let's put them on and try them out, eh? Why wouldn't we? Friggin' right we will. Anyways, I gotta figure out what size Allen key that is. What's really going on? So anyways, here, come down here and watch. We'll see what happens here. Oh my God, boys. Check that out. Oh, they are, they all gotta come off. Well, they're kind of a pain in the ass. I'll tell you one thing though, you won't lose your nut, you won't lose your nuts, eh? You won't lose your nuts off the old uh, tire ski with them on there. Quite a few of them have to come off for them to fall off, they do. Holy boys. 
<laughs> These are gonna take a little bit of time to put on there. Oh, brother. Oh my god. That's crazy. They do look pretty cool though. They look like actual rims off a truck, eh? Check out that, man. Actually, really, technically, they're, oh boy, is there a two-piece rim? Hey, look, they're a two-piece rim. That's friggin' awesome. The rims are definitely smaller. Oh boy, that's close, but they work, eh? Friggin' right they do. I love the centers, man. That's just friggin' decent. You're not even watching, are you? I'm gonna have to invest in a rock crawler, eh? Those are pretty cool trucks. Especially the ones that actually have like a frame, like a real truck. Man, they're cool. The only thing is they're expensive, like a rolling chassis. I was looking at the Go... What the hell was it? Geo made or something like that last night. And just for the rolling chassis is like 300 bucks, eh? That's no, no motor, no ECU, no servos or nothing. That's just the, the rolling chassis, boys. So they're not the cheapest. Not at all, hey? Eh? Holy boys, just so you know, this is time consuming, eh? Putting these on. I want to make sure that I don't rip them apart the first shot either, because this thing's got a lot of torque. So I think they're just going to blow apart, to be honest with you. There's one. Oh, boys, they're a lot softer. Oh, yeah, man. That's freaking decent. But anyways, I'll get these thrown on because it's time consuming, and, uh, I'll come back once all four are on, eh? That way you don't have to sit here watching me turn screws, eh? Why would you? Well, boys, ran into a problem already, I did. Eh? They're not gonna fit. The rims are too small, and on the front end, they don't go over, eh? Frig sakes. So I need extenders, I do, or something. And it's not by much, eh? We just can't turn the one way. Oh, boys. What's really going on? Look. Boys. So I got all these rims, boys, that don't work, eh? Frick. All right, boys, well, it's not the end of the world that tires don't fit, eh? Because look what I found, eh? You can get the old hub extensions you can. So there's a 25 millimeter and a 30 millimeter. So 25 millimeters, 1.9 of an inch, eh? So just under an inch and the 30, would be just over an inch. So I think I'm gonna go big, eh? Go big or go home. We'll go with the uh, we'll go with the old 30 millimeter. Freaking right. That way we know we have lots of uh, lots of clearance, eh? So the tires will work after all, but uh, we're gonna have to just wait and hang tight, hey? Eh? Why wouldn't we, right? Ten dollars and thirty cents. I think I can handle that, eh? So we'll get that coming. But uh, anyway, hopefully everybody had a good day and didn't do anything I didn't do. And uh, the daughter's going to take the RC for a little rip, so maybe I'll record that for the end of it, eh? So, if you watch it, great. If you don't, it is what it is. And uh, you know what to do for now.